How's it everyone? This is Lolkahole and in today's video I'm going to be making a physical bow. I'm going to be doing a slightly different method but it's going to be a profit craft and I'll explain why I'm using this base. Now a lot of fizz bow builds currently are mainly using spine bows but citadel bows still have very high flat PDPS and I managed to find this base with tier 2 fractured hybrid fizz for 6x which felt like a steal to me because I know I can turn this thing into a very very nice little bow relatively easily and to get started I'm going to try and get this up to 30% quality and to do that I'm just going to use perfect fossils. So we're just looking at the quality now until we see that 30% at the top and I hope we don't have to go buy more. 29 do we stick with 29 it is a profit craft so i'm less concerned with perfection if this was a perfect tier one fractured hybrid i would probably go for 30 but i'm gonna stick with this now to get our flat fizz i'm gonna be using deafening essences of contempt this guarantees close to tier one fizz and when i hit this I'm going to be aiming for an open prefix along with that. So we got it here. We have that open prefix and an open suffix. And now, now in order to get percent fizz, what I'm going to do is actually head over to the crafting bench. Go prefixes cannot be changed. And now I'm going to veiled chaos this. Our prefixes are safe. And we're hoping to get a veiled prefix. And we did. Easy as that. Now we head over to Junt. We cannot block anything. We have a very, very, very high chance of unveiling percent fizz. So we do it like that. There we go. Percent chance to blind. Maybe if you did this, you might want, I don't know, the bleeding one or something like that. But here we go. This now has... 600 physical DPS. Now the next step is going to be checking out our crafting bench. So I want to look at our suffixes. We are going to craft on attack speed. And then maybe let's see what else there is. Crit chance, physical damage over time, multiplier, chance to deal double damage would be really good. If I wanted to go all in on this, I could lock prefixes, reforge speed and try and get high speed and then do something else. But because this is a basic profit craft, I'm not going for absolute perfection. Now we're going to have to clean off our prefixes. So in order to do that, we go prefixes cannot be changed. And I'm going to scour it. The reason I'm not doing the cannot roll attack mods annul is because life gained on hit is an attack. So prefixes cannot be changed. And now we go for the sneaky scour. And now we go over to the crafting bench and we go crafted mods can have up to three dunk attack speed here we go dunk and then we're gonna go probably double damage i don't have divines i'll be right back and then i got my divines and then i think i think double damage yeah otherwise something else that we could put bit 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 otherwise something that could be really good would be accuracy but i'm gonna go with double damage i think double damage is cool although this mod's also really good but let's just do that sweet let's see how dps is looking now we're sitting at six seven seven why is it so low i feel like i have miscalculated <laughs> i feel like i've done something wrong wait Okay, let's just hit it with a few divines. Six, seven, seven. I chucked this into POB before I started and it looked like it was gonna hit 800. I think I just need to divine it a little bit better. 675. I'm not even getting close to 800. What is happening? I feel like I've made a tremendous miscalculation somewhere. So let me show you what I did, right? Here's the bow. It is 29% quality. And then I've chucked in the increased fizz. So this is what I did before I started. 
<gasps> Why is that there? Oh no. Local hole made a <laughs> local hole made an oopsie. Uh, oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 700 feet EPS. Oh no. Oh no. 15 exalted? We, we could still make profit if we hit that 700 PDPS threshold, but... Oh, boy. How are we doing? 697. 15x. Here is the boat. <laughs> it's a bit... It's a, let's just say it's 700 PDPS. So 15 exalt, 18. Let's check out some on the trade site. Yeah, 15. 18 21 so if i hadn't made that really stupid mistake i was expecting to see 800 pdps i don't know how i somehow duplicated flat damage but i was thinking oh i can easily turn this into like a 30 40 50 expo by hitting 800 but i am i am a potato Let's see if we can six link it at the very least. Hey, we did it. Okay. So with six links, it's 20 X. I think we could, let's say we sell it for 18. So what did we spend on this little bow? Despite my gross miscalculation, thinking we were going to hit an 800 PDPS bow, this still is going to be profitable. We spent 105 chaos on 15 perfect fossils. The base was 6x. I locked prefixes once, 2x. Locked prefixes again to scour it. That was 2x. Then I multi-modded, 2x. Crafted attack speed, 1x. Then I used one divine to get the double damage. And then used another 15 to try and get it close to 700. Then I used 300 fusings to get it to 6 link. And so that's a total of about 15 exalted orbs. And we should be able to sell this thing for 20 or so. So even though I'm not selling a 50 expo, it's still probably a 20 expo. And for the grand total of 10 minutes I spent making it, it's still 5x profit. So keep a lookout for bows like this that have fractured hybrid fizz because it makes it super, super easy to finish it off. But if you stick something into path of building, just make sure you're not an idiot like me. I don't know how I messed that up. I was very excited thinking I'm going to make a 50x bow for like 10x, but alas, still profit. Anyway, have a wonderful day, everyone. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I have a Twitch, a Discord, a Twitter, and a Patreon, and a SoundCloud. So you can follow me there. Take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Exile. You're making me nervous.